Welcome to the Wolfenstein 3D walkthrough on the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty for the PC. I'm Jefferson Davis, and this is Episode 1, Floor 3. There's a guard to your left and right when you start this floor, so take both of them out. When that's done, grab their ammunition that they dropped and open up this door right here. And then this one. Kill the guard behind the door and grab the small slew of treasure he was protecting. And then do the same for this room. Kill the guard, and grab the treasure. Go back out and go to the left and through this door. Now there is a guard to your left, so take him out. As soon as he's dead, go back through the familiar door that you just used and dispose of the guard trying to, you know, come around from behind. You don't want him to, uh, you know, <laughs> ruin your day like that. Your first secret's right here. Your first of ten secrets inside is some ammunition and some treasure. Your second secret's right here in this corner. And inside this one you'll find the chain gun and a couple of met packs. Around the bend here is your third secret. It's this Nazi eagle. Just some ammo is inside. That's it. Against this white wall right here, somewhere, there it is, is your fourth secret. And inside this one, yep, is just some more ammo. Nothing special. Open the door with the blue walls around it and enter the blue area, but be careful. Immediately retreat back as there is a guard to your left and right. And if you just run out in the open, yeah, they're gonna ruin your day quite quickly. You don't want that to happen. Start opening up the doors here. There's a guard in this room with a couple of dinners. Yeah, this game on I Am Death Incarnate. Pretty unforgiving difficulty. You pretty much need to know where every single enemy is, because just one guard can mess up your entire day. The gold key is in this room, protected by a couple of guards. So just keep opening up the doors, and each side, each, blah, blah, inside each one should be a dinner. Or two dinners, occasionally. Now, in this final room, right here, there is a secret, your fifth secret, behind the pile of bones. And inside this secret, ammo, treasure, and a couple of med packs. Help yourself. It's all yours. Go back out of the blue area to the left, skip this door right here, and open up this door. Okay, turn right, kill the guard, turn back to the left, and start killing the guards that come for you. This door just takes you back to the familiar area. Once all the guards are disposed of, run all the way down the hallway until you get to this Nazi flag, which just so happens to be your sixth secret. Inside are a couple of med packs. We'll come back to this door on this wall later, but for now, we'll open up the doors on this wall, starting with this door. Inside are, yeah, a few guards, with some dinners. So go back out of this door, and go through the next door on this side of the wall. Not sure if there... Oh, only one guard. Open up the next door. Now these next few areas are connected by doors, as you see right here, housing a couple of guards in each one, usually two through three. We'll come back to this door later, but for now we'll open up this door. And in each of these rooms, like I said, there are anywhere from one to three guards. This room, however, has four. It's the only room that are connected by doors in this area that have four guards. This area has some ammunition and some health. But wait. 
there is your seventh secret against this wall in the corner. Inside is some ammunition, but wait! In fact, your eighth secret is in this room. Chain gun. Med packs. But wait! Secret number nine of ten. Run down the hallway with the green... Or run... Yeah, run down the hallway with the green walls. There we go. That's correct English. Treasure. Yay, more treasure. Fill up that sack of yours. It's uh, getting pretty full. So go back out of the secret areas. And now we'll go back to that door that we skipped. Right here. There's a couple three guards. Oh, just two of them. You want to be careful. Yeah, you don't want to dart out. They love... Oh, here. Few dogs. Uh, last one will just stab to death. There's some dog food here if you need it. Open up the next door. But anyway, yeah, they love to put guards to the left and right of doors. Prohibiting you from just running out. Now this room is just empty with the blue vases. So continue on. Alright, open up the next door. Now here's your final room. Yeah, it was a long journey. What's our reward for this long journey? Well, treasure, of course, and a handful of, you know, delicious dinners. But it's prison food, so it's not the best. But it's sustenance. I mean, it will keep you alive. So, I'd eat it. I mean, hell, he even eats dog food and blood. So dinners are, you know, king's food comparative to that. So go back out all the way to the hallway. You know, that long hallway. Alright, we made it back. Now we'll open up the next door in the hallway. There's a couple of guards in here. Inside this room, there is a door, so go ahead and open it. Two more guards are in this room. If you open up uh, this door right here, it will just take you back to the hallway. And that's all the doors on this wall. So, we'll go back and we'll open up the door on the left wall now. The only door on this side of the wall. There's a couple of guards. I think there's three of them. Yep. Yep. So once that's done... Let's see. Uh, we'll open up this door. Ooh. Guard here, and there's a couple more down the hallway. Whoa! Look at that one go through the door. Yeah, he's trying a sneak attack, but thankfully I saw his... Yeah, we'll come back to this door later. Thankfully I saw his, um... Himself walk through the door. A couple guards to dispose of on patrol down here, but... Nothing you can't handle. Now this area can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Basically what I do is I go around the perimeter of this entire large area and dispose of the guards before I open up any of the doors, which we're going to do right now. Inside the first room are two guards and two Shustafel. So take care of them quickly and grab the treasure that they were protecting. And the ammunition. Can't go wrong with ammo. The next room, on this brown wall, has two guards and only one Shustafel, so it's a little less painful. Some treasure, a med pack, which, you know, comes in handy right now, is in this room. So now that we're done with this area, we can go back to that door that we skipped. Yeah, we skip a lot of doors, but at least we, you know, get to them eventually. That's part of this game, skipping doors and coming back to them. That's the story of Wolfenstein 3D. Alright, you wondered where your tenth secret was? Well, it's right here. Your final secret. 
And it's a payload. Of treasure! Ah, oh, listen to that wondrous sound of treasure. It's a glorious sound. Open up the gold door here. In this final room, there's a few guards. Yep, there's one right there. Is that all of them? Yeah, I guess so. Couple treasure items in this room. Yep, that's all the guards. And with that... What? Oh, that's not cool. I knew there was one more. I knew it. Damn. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the sixth secret. You know, the one with the red Nazi flag in the hallway? And grab the two med packs. There, you evil Nazis. You thought you could rape me, but... Nope. BJ Blaskowitz, yeah, too tough for you. So with that, press the exit switch. Floor 3. It's, um, it's reminiscent of Floor 2, with the amount of side areas. But, I will say Floor 3 does not reward you like it should, with the side areas. You saw, you know, um, the four doors on that one side of the wall. The second door that I took leads you to all of those rooms with the guards. And if, you know, if you're unprepared, you're gonna get, you know, hit from all directions if you just run out. And you saw the final room, it didn't reward you that much. Treasure and dinners. It's almost not worth, you know, the journey. But nonetheless, you know, that's part of the game. That's, um, part of what makes this game fun is the amount of work you have to do just to gain a small amount. But that was floor three. It uh, builds upon what floor two brought us with the amount of side areas. Yeah, lots of side areas. That's what uh, episode one is all about, mostly. So with that, that is floor three. It's not as deadly as floor two, though, I will say. So with floor three completed, we will move on to floor four, which is our next uh, map, and it will be in the next video. Take care, everybody.